Fighters and supporters of the insurgency celebrate the fall of Kandahar. Propaganda the Taliban is happy to share on social media. They are not so keen to show the looming humanitarian crisis. More than 240,000 displaced, food and medicine are scarce. We're also seeing the number of civilian casualties um, really spiraling alarmingly and um, an increasing proportion of women and children are among those that are targeted. Recently one rights for women and girls are evaporating. My heart is actually bleeding. It turns into pieces when I see the same country that we have actually put our blood and treasure, our energy is being shattered. Now, Taliban insurgents are closer to taking their fight to the capital. Urban warfare in Kabul will be catastrophic. One can only imagine with horror what it would look like in Kabul, a city whose population, in a sense, is increasing on a regular basis uh, because of the fighting going on outside of the city. Meantime, peace talks that were supposed to backstop the withdrawal of U.S. and other foreign troops appear deadlocked. That was delusional, in fact. The security expert says the Taliban is a proxy for al-Qaeda and it is looking at Afghanistan to launch a comeback as a global security threat. We've seen throughout history that what happens there doesn't stay there and we're already seeing the ramifications of this play out globally. With so much at stake, this from the UN Secretary General. This is the moment to halt the offensive. This is the moment to start serious negotiation. This is the moment to avoid a prolonged civil war or the isolation of Afghanistan. So, Carolyn, what's the outlook for Kabul? How long can it remain under government control? It depends on who you're talking to. Some experts believe that in the absence of an 11th hour political settlement, Kabul could be attacked by the Taliban within days or worst case scenario, even hours. But a spokesperson for the U.S. Pentagon says its intelligence is that Kabul is not under imminent threat. Of course, we know it's only taken a week for the Taliban to control more than half of the Afghan capitals. And perhaps even more telling than that, the U.S., the United Kingdom and Canada all have military assets preparing to take their embassy staff out of the capital city. We will be watching this situation. Carolyn Dunn in Washington tonight. Thank you.